Well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends, welcome back to the channel. And today we are about to dive back into a world where I once was very happy until it got to its last arc. So, yes, this is fairy tale, but not just fairy tale. This is the PS4 game of fairy tale. This is a gameplay that was released yesterday during a, a live stream and I am just now watching it for the first time. I watched like the first 10 seconds at most, nothing else. This is the game I've had my eye on ever since it was announced really because this was big. This was the first major platform release for a fairy tale video game and let me tell you the way they are going about with this game seems mm, perfect. Seems dash darn it perfect. I have no idea what I just said. I just made up a word. It doesn't matter. Let's go for, watch this gameplay for the, for the PS4 game Fairy Tale. It's not exclusive to PS4. It's like, is there a version for the Xbox One? I know that's for the PC. Now maybe, yeah, there is one for the Xbox. So yeah, it's a platform game of fairy tale, And this is a gameplay, gameplay that focuses around Crocus and the Grand Magic games. So let us hit play and let us see how it goes. Okay. Peggy 12. The Peggy logo. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. I've seen this, but Jesus Christ, it's beautiful. Oh, look at that. The arena. Oh, look at the city! Oh! And there he is! Natsu! Oh. Gosh darn it, this is cool. One thing I really like... Like, all the sentences in, the, in this quote-unquote cutscene are fully voiced. It's not just some grunts or anything like most anime games. It's actually voiced, fully voiced. That is amazing, like, really amazing. Uh, <laughs> villager A, Villager B. <laughs> okay, that's cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, you're in for a treat, boy. <laughs> Sabertooth. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, God. <laughs> the 13 million. <laughs> he just wants the money. <laughs> the first master. Oh, yeah, because they found the first master. They found Mavis after after the time skip on Terujima. Yes. Our guild zine is up ahead. And this is faithful because they actually stay at a specific inn during the during the arc. During the saga or arc. I, I always confuse the two. Saga arc. Oh, this is cool. I like the movements aren't all that jaggy. They're really looking cool. There's Lisan and Mira Jane. So cool. So cool. Isn't Mira Jane? Yeah, Mira Jane is part of Team B. So yeah, that's also cool. Good. <laughs> I guess this is part of the side content because I don't remember this part in the in the anime. Yeah, I really like how they incorporated the return of fairy tale into the side content side of things because they kind of have to rebuild the guild, and that's cool. That's cool because it expands on the on the universe. Because it, when we think about it, they came back from the seven year time skip, like looking the same, and all of a sudden they go to the Grand Magic Games. They win and everything's fine. I mean, sure, they save the world from impending destruction and Ragnarok and all that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was kind of very sudden. But yeah, such was the fate of fairy tales, sadly. 
and after the Grand Magic games, it's where it really started to feel a bit meh. I put this down a little bit. I wonder how they'll incorporate all the all the uh, the events from the Grand Magic games in in the game. Because they have some pretty good events in the. I I really I actually like this saga a lot. It's one of my favorites, really. <laughs> okay. My favorite saga, I would have to say it's the Horatian Says Saga. I really like the Horatian Says as a group. Sadly, they got the short end of the stick, as did a lot of characters in Fairy Tale. But, um... What's this particle effects all around? It's probably the effect of, of the magic. The model for Happy looks a bit... like scary because since they don't move their eyes, Happy's always like... <laughs> and he has these big eyes and it's quite scary. <laughs> The others it works. And... Oh, don't worry about them. They're on their own team, don't worry. Also, of course, the main team had to be Team Nuts. It's, it's obvious, they're the main guys, so... As in a, okay. This is so cool, I love it. Just mean noon or midnight. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because the first event was like was that race where all the teams had to get to the arena before a certain amount of time, otherwise they'll be disqualified. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, the team calls oh, so little. But I guess it should be in this stage because it's a following the story, you can't exactly customize your team a lot. But I, I would like to have a look at the menu a bit more. I'm, sh I'm sure they're gonna show it. Oh, we're gonna see some exploration. Alright. So we have a bunch of, of objectives and we're just gonna go. Oh, this is cool. This is looking really cool. I feel that the mission UI thing there is a bit intrusive because the sub-objectives stick there and because they have that bluish background. I mean, eh. I mean, I understand it, it avoids you going back and forth to a menu, but since they have the minimap, I think the sub-mission UI could be a little less intrusive. But that's this is Nick picking. Oh, look at that, it's Juvia! I wonder how outfits will work in this game. This is that is a big thing of anime games, isn't it? The outfits. And since they all get different outfits for this arc, I wonder how that translates them to the open world side of the game. So Leon's gonna be a, a support character, I think. He's not he's not playable. It makes sense. He's basically Grey 2.0. So I'm not actually sad that he's not playable. I don't know if they're gonna announce any more playable characters, actually. I think they're done with the roster. Which is, you know, it's a bit sad. I'd like to see Healthman playable. He, he, would, he would make for a cool playable character. But, um, alas, we have a good roster. I mean, all the main guys. We have Guild Arts. We have Rogan Sting. Uh, who else? Mm. We have a lot of people from from Fairytale. We have Gajil. We have Wendy, Natsu. We have a lot of people. I don't remember all of them. Actually, it's been a while since I saw the the website. Juvia's hairstyle. Ah, okay, that's cool. They addressed it right there. It was only for a brief second, but they did. 
You have to go to Lucy's room to change the characters, to customize the characters. That is cool. That is really cool that they addressed that. I mean, addressed. It was shown. Oh. Enemies. Alright. I wonder if the map will change a lot after the events of the Grand Magic games because we have the whole thing with the Dragon Festival so I wonder if the map's going to change a lot because Crocus got pretty much destroyed after the, the, Dragon, the Dragon King Festival so I wonder if they're going to change it or if, if they're going to keep the map when we get to the yes, end sir. and eventually we get to the open world that we're able to explore. I, I was not a fan of this when they first showed it and I'm still not a fan of that. Like Lucy's attacks, when you get the bar showing the anime render of the of the spirit, I don't think that's necessary because they show the spirit in 3D model. So I really think they could have just kept the 3D models and not necessarily had the banner showing the, the spirit. Because it's assumed that the, the fans know who the spirits are. And if, the, if you have them showing in 3D models, then it really makes no sense to have that bar obstructing part of the, of the attack by just showing the spirit. So... I guess that was made to avoid having a summoning animation, sort of. So I can understand that. Wait, they saw everything? Well, I guess they skipped a bit. So yeah. I so not to show everything. They still want people to play the game, so... But they are showing quite a bit. I mean, they've showed a bit of the open world Magnolia when the the first the first time around. I believe they had some images and footage of the prologue, which is at the end of the Terranji arc uh, on the fire against Hades. So it's it's an interesting point to start the game. One would expect that they would go back to the beginning. Since it would give you, it would actually give a lot of options for gameplay as well. You would build your team from the get go. If I was the one doing it, oh, there's Elfman! His face looks a little bit weird. Oh, there's still hope he's playable, I hope. Because he's part of B team. And honestly, I think all B team is playable but him. So. It's weird. Oh, there's Mato. Ah, yeah, there was a, like a bajillion teams. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> Mato is the king, isn't he? He's the king of Fiore in the skies, I believe. I remember back in the day there was so much speculation who Mato was, and it just ended up being the king of Fiore, I think. Domus Flau, yeah. I remember that Team A just barely makes it. Like... How will they do this? I am so curious. Because they have this massive free-for-all in a sort of illusionary space. Yeah, in the labyrinth. I wonder how they'll implement this. I wonder if they'll show it here. The Sky Labyrinth, yeah. Oh, I want to reread Fairy Tale. 
I could rewatch it, but the anime is just so full of filler. I mean, I could cut the filler out, but eh. Wait. Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot that Wendy wasn't there. Oh well. I don't actually remember why. No, well. no matter. Okay, I wanna see. Okay, so they don't say that Healthman has temporarily joined the team, so. Yeah, maybe maybe that's it for him. Sadly. Okay. Twilight Ogre. Oh. So they have the same generic. Okay, so that's how the labyrinth will go. You have small cutscenes. Okay. You see, this was not necessary. The bar was not... Ah! Okay, they don't have all the spirits. So, okay. Because I thought they had all spirits in 3D model, but they don't. So, okay, it kind of makes sense for those. But I, I'm i assuming the only one that has a 3D model is, is Leo, really. It's, it makes sense that he's the only one that has it. Okay, so support type, kind of like Wendy will be. Okay, so... So yeah, they, they have Elfman on the team, but he's not here. Oh, Virgo has a 3D model as well. Okay. It makes sense for some, but yeah, I understand that not all the spirits would get animated. I don't even know if we get to use all the spirits. It wouldn't kind of make sense if we can't, because she has nearly all the, the 12 keys. So, yeah. She has nearly all the 12 keys. Except for Aquarius, she didn't really get Aquarius' back. Yeah, you see, Elfman is there, but... I think... I don't know if the teams in the combat are... Restricted to four, or just five, or five. Okay, so yeah, this is how the labyrinth will go. Like, you don't get to explore, you just go from fight to fight. Okay. That makes sense. What is she gonna use now? Okay, Capricorn. Okay, so Capricorn doesn't have a 3D model either. Yeah, honestly, I think that probably only Leo, Leo and Virgo and Virgo have a 3D model. Maybe Taros, because Taros is pretty much like the OG. Taros is the OG spirit that she used. Because it was the first one we saw her use, I think, in terms of gold. In terms of gold, um, gold key spirits, Taros was the first one. Back in the in the Macau arc. So Okay. There's a healing support. What she's gonna use now? Leo, Aquarius, there's Aquarius. Oh come on, really? You're gonna use it on the one? Oh that makes no sense. Yeah, an Aquarius should have Ah, she has, of course. Taurus is the OG. Aquarius is the bay, so you gotta have the bay. You cannot not have Aquarius as a 3D model, so it makes sense. Really cool. Okay. There's some really interesting things and effects on, uh, on the magic. That is really intricate. I gotta be honest, I was a bit bummed when I saw it was when I saw it was turn-based, but the more I see about it, Jesus Christ, the more I'm looking forward to play it. It just looks so cool. Damn. 
I need to find a job quickly. There's a lot of games coming out this year. <laughs> ah, this is the Unison Raid, I think. The... And I gotta say, the music... Oh, while it's not the same music, it has the same vibe. So cool. Yeah, so yeah. So the Sky Labyrinth just goes by pretty fast. Unless this is not the final... Unless they aren't showing everything, which they might not be. I wouldn't be surprised. Of course not, it just barely came last. <laughs> yes. They just barely qualified, really. Oh, look at this. Oh, the music. Say what you will about Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale has one of the best soundtracks in anime ever. Like, oh, look at this. But certainly they aren't. <laughs> Oh, come on, don't boo them. Booing. <laughs> oh, the soundtrack, look at that. I love it. <laughs> okay, yeah, they... There's not a lot of members there, but okay, I understand the limitations. Oh, there's Mavis, yay! Mavis Vermilion. That was always so convenient to me, like, I was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, that is so Deus Ex. <laughs> this is pretty faithful, I mean, it's as good as go, like. Oh, the Quattro Caravaras. They don't even show them. Then they just saw Kagura from Mermaid Hill. They'll probably not show any... Okay, Blue Peg... You got Ishia from Blue Pegasus, who is also playable. And Kagura is as well, so... They just show the playable guys from each. Okay, yeah, Lamia, uh, Lamia Scale, you have Leon and, and Shelly. Raven Tail, yeah, the. What's his name? That's Lux's father. Yeah, Ivan's. It's Ivan's. Ivan's Guild. They don't even show them. There was one of those fights that I was like, you were expecting so much from them, and they never. They never went on that. Like. So much expectation, Laxus fought against all of them, like, oh, they don't even have voices, okay. Uh, oh yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, and then there's Sabertooth, and then there's, there's Team B, that's Fairytale Team B. The second place was Fairytale Team B. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's Jalal, Juvia, Gajil, Mirajen, and Laxus. I was so hyped when this happened. Because, honestly, I love Laxus both character wise and power wise. Mirajen as well. And Gadgil is also pretty cool, and I was like, when I saw Team B, I was like, oh, <laughs> this is so cool. 
<laughs> and it was so cool when it happened. And of course, I hope the individual fights have weight to them, because now I understand we won't see a lot of them. Like probably Luxus versus Raven Tail will not happen, but um, I imagine there was even Luxus versus the Lamia Scale Guild Master. Not, not Guildmaster, no, wait. No, Jura, the... One of the Ten Saints, Jura? Yeah, who's missing? Oh, it's the big God Lightning Slayer. Whose name I forgot, and Rufus. Oh, I, li I like Rufus. Oh, come on. He had, like, room for a really cool new set. That was that is sad. I'm sad a bit. But never mind. Oh, they have models for these two? Oh come on. Oh yeah, but you gotta say Frosh is really cute. Okay. Oh! Oh it ended! <laughs> okay. I was not expecting that. Boy oh boy it ended. <laughs> okay. I I am really excited for this. <coughs> Actually, I am really, really excited for this. I already was excited for this, but now after after watching this, I'm even more excited. Like a fairy tale. If you guys remember from my from my old from my old um, review videos, like I stopped losing a bit of interest in fairy tale right about. The last arc really was it for me, and the more it dragged on, and the more rushed it felt, the more and more I was feeling disheartened with it. But the point they chose for this game, and the point that it will go until... I'm just checking a bit. I'm just gonna check the official site. Because the... The game will go all the way until the um I the I always forget the names. Let's let's see if I can remember the ah uh, just before the Alvarez arc. Oh no wait, it's on PS4, Switch and Steam. Oh so no Xbox, sorry Xbox fellas, you won't get to experience this this game. Okay, they don't say where the game is going, but uh, yeah, that's okay, uh, that's okay. But we have a pretty cool roster, so we have of course Natsu, Lucy, Grey, Erza, Wendy, Gajil, Juvia Rogue, Kagura, Sheria, Sting, Ichia, Loxus, Mira Jane, Jalal, and Gildarts. Everyone else, and the few that we know, are support. So these are the only playable characters, which I found it weird that they have Gildarts in, especially because it's not really prevalent in any of the arcs, they have in the game. So... I mean, what gives? Surely there were other characters, but I get why they're putting Gildarts in. Gildarts is... is the guy. Gildarts is the guy, so... But yeah, there's a few other characters that I think could have been made playable, but again, I understand this is only the first game. And for first game, like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we have sixteen characters. So I believe that 
Deal Tars is probably going to be like the late stage unlockable character, like the, sp the super special character that you unlock. And so yeah, the others will unlock as we play with them in the story. So we'll probably start with Team Natsu, Natsu, Lucy Gray, Ares and Wendy. And as the Grand Magic games go, we unlock the others. That's what I imagine, at least. But yeah, honestly, as this game is, and for first, for being the first console game for fairy tale, not really just console, but the, the first major uh, fairy tale game, I think it's pretty good. It's on par with a lot of first time games for big consoles, like. I'm thinking, I'm comparing it to like the first Naruto Storm game, Storm 1, which was really, really cool at the time. The first Pirate Warriors, which stands out to this day as one of the best in of the four. Like, for me, okay, yeah, it's third place, really. But if we count original story-wise, if we count the, the, the OG story-wise, I'll put it at second. Because the second one was an original story, and the fourth one is really lacking from what I saw. I still haven't played it, but but it's really lacking for a bit. I'm gonna take this off because the video is already off, and this makes my ears quite hot. But uh, yes, I mean, this was a really, really interesting, interesting trailer. They showed a bit of the city and exploration. They showed a little. Uh, small bit of menus but they I think they don't want to show that because that's not what the what the people want to see necessarily I'm interested in that and I really really cannot wait to put my hands on this game because really this looks so cool like as I said in the video I was a bit bummed when I first saw that it was a turn-based but honestly, the more I saw of it, the more I was like, this is actually pretty good. Like, this is actually pretty good. And it works. It works for fairy tale. Because honestly, a, a hack and slash like Pirate Warriors wouldn't work for fairy tale. And um, a single battle type like, um, like Naruto's, like Naruto's The Storm series doesn't really cut it out as well it could work but honestly i think this just may be the best sort of um, sort of game the turn based for the combat i believe it's the best that it is for the series because then you don't have to chain individual button prompts to make combos that then result in like for instance the fire dragon roar or the Friar deck Dragon Claw, you just have the attack, the attack costs a certain amount of mana, or magic, eh? I don't know the, the terminology for this game, and that's it, you just use the attack and that's okay. So, honestly, this is the best, The best. this was the best choice for, for the combat in, in this game, and I honestly cannot wait to play it, Jesus, the 30th of July can't come soon enough. It's close to my birthday, so maybe I'll treat myself to a little fairy tale adventures. And I don't know if I'll bring the game to the channel, honestly. I haven't yet decided if I'll play it on the PC or on the PS4, because if I play on the PS4, I might not be able to record it because I don't have a capture card. And I don't know if I'll be able to get a capture card because those are a bit of expensive. If I can get a job, then that's all well and good, and I can get a capture card and start learning how to work with it. But, I don't know, maybe, since it's going to be on Steam, maybe I'll get it on PC. Maybe the PC version is a good version, and maybe I'll get it on the PC, and then I can record it without problem, uh, but we'll see. So, my dear friends, my dear viewers, these were my impressions on the most recent gameplay for the Fairy Tale game. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. I don't know if you enjoy these types of videos. I enjoy making them, honestly, as I can watch along and comment as I go along. And I'm trying to branch out. I really haven't found my, my place here on YouTube yet. But I hope you guys' opinions and your guys' comments can help me shape up my way as we go along. And while you don't give 
your feedback. I'll just keep trotting along, doing as I doing as I please. So, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, and if you'd be so kind to go the extra mile, please subscribe to the channel. As you will know, we are trying to reach 50 subscribers by the 23rd of July. It would make for an amazing birthday gift from from you guys to me. So, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow because today is Monday and I hope to have this video up on Monday as well. Two videos on Monday, ah, who'd, who'd say you lucky bunch getting double dose of me in one day and my throat is getting parched and I still have two more to record. So I'll end this video here, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Again, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe to the channel. Also ring the bell if you want, I, I don't know if that works or not, but if you if you want to ring the bell, you ring the bell, do not let me stop you from ringing the bell. But like, comment and subscribe, that's all I ask and it's already much. But yes, I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Minecraft Harry Potter and I'll see you then, bye bye.